Hi everybody, welcome back. My name is... <clears throat> Hi everybody, welcome back. Hmm. Hey everybody, welcome back. And if this is your first time, welcome. My name is Max Haddad and it's Christmas Eve. Happy holidays. I think I've said that in like every video for the past week, but happy holidays. I hope you are enjoying your time with whomever you're hanging out with or if you're by yourself because of COVID, whatever it is. Uh, well wishes coming your way from me at least and uh, take care of yourself and have a good season holiday season shivity dibbity today I wanted to talk about uh, something that I'm a little actually hesitant to talk about because I don't want you guys to get the wrong idea obviously I've expressed that I hated prison it was awful now I grew a lot from it and that's fantastic very grateful for that but as a whole, prison is a bad experience. I want to tell you, though, about the things I miss most about prison. Some of them I've already alluded to in other videos. Some of them are probably personal experiences, stuff that maybe other inmates don't even notice, whatever. But things that are not readily available in normal day-to-day -day life. The first thing I know I've sort of brought up before that I miss most about prison is the social strata is extremely simple to understand. You are either at the top or the bottom or the middle, whatever it is, it is blatantly obvious where you fit, okay? If you're um, socially awkward, physically weak, dumb, disabled, awful like yeah judgments being made about people that are not nice for sure but they're made it's the fact of being incarcerated that prison atmosphere people are judging other people based on stuff that you shouldn't judge them on race okay that's not why you would end up at the bottom but i'm saying people are judged for all sorts of reasons in there similar similar to real life normal life but uh they're definitely more open about it in jails and prisons so weak you know awkward all that you know that you're on the bottom you know that if you're not careful you're going to end up having to do free work for people so you need to find yourself a job to stay busy you have to create a use for yourself if you don't create a use for yourself someone will find a use for you okay I'm not saying sexual but do my dishes go fight that guy because i want to watch and i think it'll be funny if you don't i'll hurt you worse than he will you know, bleh, stuff. And some people even end up willing to do dishes for free because they're being protected by somebody else. They're willing to do laundry for free. Um, they'll say, you know, I'll do your laundry, not your boxers, not gross shit, but like they'll work for somebody for free if it provides that title for them, dishwasher, whatever, so-and-so's servant kind of thing. It, it's not like on TV, like you're my bitch. It's not like that. But people find ways to manipulate weaker people unless those weaker people are savvy enough to find a spot for themselves where they create a use for their presence there other than being everybody's, what is it, whipping boy? Whipping boy. I miss that simple hierarchy in prison because in day-to-day -day life, I'm not a crazy anxious person but i do, do think i have a little bit of social anxiety it's it's so much simpler in prison in day-to-day -day life you have to feel people out in prison you're either the cool guy or you're not and if you're not no big deal just accept it find a use for yourself in real life who knows who the fucking cool guy is there's celebrities blah, blah blah most of us never meet them and the truth is they're not cool anyways they just happen to be famous but in prison you're either the boss or you're the peasant that's it there's some middle ground but it's not confusing you either know that you're somebody that's blending in or you're somebody that's standing out Whew, simple it gets rid of all that social anxiety of oh what am i gonna say and how am i gonna and oh well and it's a lot simpler too because there's nobody of the opposite sex around that's interested in you so you don't have to worry about what am i gonna say to her does she like me none of that bunch of dudes sausage party get used to it it's the way that it is so as much of a bummer as it is because uh, interaction lacks that depth it removes a whole layer of anxiety uh, that some of us experience when we go into public and try to find our way 
in the social stratosphere. So second thing I really miss about prison is it's not like vacation, but in some ways it is, okay? You have a great justification to be doing no work. You can work on yourself. You should work on yourself. I did. I read like crazy, learned chess, taught myself some languages. But if you tell somebody you're in prison, nobody's asking how your 401k is developing. Nobody's asking if, if you're about to get a promotion. You don't have to. There's not a lot of small talk in prison, okay? So you're like, <laughs> you are exempt from a lot of the things in all of our lives that are just boring as hell, <laughs> okay? Now, prison is boring, but at least you're not having to go nine to five and work for somebody that you feel like you could do a better job in or you don't like. Yeah, you're stuck with a bunch of people that you don't like. I feel like I'm not explaining this well. Again, it goes back to the simplicity of prison life, right? You've got your feet kicked up. You hate where you are, sure, but... You can do whatever you want, 24 hours a day, and nobody is going to bug you about it. Yeah, like, you can't murder somebody. Do you hear what I'm saying? Like, the guards are on your case. But what I'm saying is, like, if you just binge eat and sleep all day, nobody's going to look at you like, wow, what a waste of space. Nobody cares because everybody's doing similar stuff. They're getting high and fucking their lives up. They're overeating. They're fighting. You stand out if you're the person doing things that are good for you, but people don't hold that against you either as long as you're not you know snide about it like judgmental of everybody around you people look up to you and they'll come to you for help that was my experience at least so you get by by doing a lot less and with doing very little you get the respect of people around you because they see that you're trying to better yourself okay <laughs> believe it or not the people in prison don't want you to come back i mentioned it in another video the way that we celebrate somebody leaving prison is we tie them down and we punch them in the body arms and legs not the face usually and we scream don't come back don't come back because we don't want people to come back so i i guess that i can easily use that to seg into the third thing i miss the camaraderie of prison it is tough to make connections that deep in real life you are not normally bonded to your brothers and sisters by the suffering around you. If anything, you're bonded by how nobody has a real strengthening, galvanizing, defining purpose, right? We're all bored. Let's moan and bitch about it at work instead of we're in hell, prop up on my shoulder and I'll prop up on his shoulder and we'll get through this together. I miss the depth and loyalty of relationships that you can't experience if you're discerning about who you associate with in prison. That's something that I don't know I'll ever experience again. Sure, there's you know love for my parents and friends in my life, but it's not the same thing as knowing that this dude behind me will literally kill for me if that's what it comes down to. It's not an empowering thing. That's not what I'm saying is I have people that I can throw at other people if I need to be defended or whatever physically. I'm saying, you know that this person understands what you're going through emotionally 100% because we're all going through the same hell. You get the feeling that the kindred spirits that you meet in there get you completely. And that's not something that's easy to experience outside of prison. Gosh, what's another thing? I miss the commerce. I miss the commerce of haggling, trading, selling with interest. Now, yeah, people do that in real life, but you know, it was almost like playing pretend in a way. For real, it was like being a little kid again sometimes and and uh, imagining that I was a businessman, right? Like, you know, selling uh, ramen noodle soup. He can't pay me today, so he's got to pay me with interest uh, three days from now, that sort of thing. And, and if uh, somebody wasn't able to pay me, I never beat anybody up for money or even yelled at anybody, but, you know, send people to go ask him about it so he knew that I was thinking about it. Like, there was, it was honestly like pretending to be in the mafia for a minute. It wasn't, at least how I did it, wasn't aggressive. What, but it was, it was fun, for real. It was like, uh, I don't know if all of you did this, but in middle school, we had like career day. And we would pre pre prepared, but we would pretend that we had a certain job and we would go through this mock town and work that job. You know, there were cops writing fake tickets and uh, restauranteurs making f maybe even real food. You know, like everybody had their, their little job and, and that's what prison is like. Um, everybody's got their little job. Everybody hopefully serves a purpose or you won't last very long. And if 
you know, the purpose I served was I was selling like homemade candy. I mentioned it before. We made it out of Kool-Aid and, and uh, non-dairy creamer. And it was a really good taffy. <laughs> Sorry to bring it up. I know a couple of you are really waiting for the thousand subscriber episode where I tell you how to make the taffy. We will. We'll get there. Um, you know, I've never been somebody to own a store that sells anything. That's not what I've, that's never been my job as a store owner. It was literally like being a shopkeep in the 1800s. Like, you know, I'm glad you pay you Tuesday for a hamburger today, whatever it is. You know, it was just silly. It was silly, fun. We all knew unspoken or, you know, like we were just biding our time. We were doing what we could do to fill our time with silly stuff. So I got to tell you, there's a lot of stuff I miss about prison. Number one, it's the, it's the people that I met there. Uh, I'm still in contact with a couple of them, but I love those guys. Those guys got me through the hardest thing I've ever done. And when, you know, like the girl I was dating, uh, was mad at me for, for some shit that I, whatever my buddies were there when I couldn't talk to my parents because it felt like it was slowing my bit down, like it was making prison last even longer, my buddies were there, you know, like as much as my parents loved me and were there for me and trying to understand and really did get close to fully understanding, they weren't there with me. You know, they weren't the ones being strip searched. They weren't, weren't the ones being uh, screamed at by some fucking stranger who had a bad day. His wife yelled at him, so now he's coming here and literally torturing us. You know, it's just, I miss those guys more than any activity there as silly as it was and it was cool as it could be i guess to to feel like a kid again sometimes it did boil down to we were in an awful place surrounded by a lot of awful people and not all of them were the criminals you know eating awful food getting awful sleep either not enough or terrible quality getting almost no exercise unless we worked out on a dirty bathroom floor right it's not like it was spick and span with our hands in piss, literally, to just get some physical movement in because we weren't allowed to work out anywhere else. Those guys were there with me. So I miss, I miss my people, if that makes sense. I hope everyone is having a great holiday. I'll be honest, this video is a little rushed because I'm with my family and that's something that I couldn't do uh, before I got sober. So that's, I'm not trying to make an excuse. I'm trying to explain why I feel like I'm all over the place, but life is good. I hope yours is too. I will talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.